So, you suck at jumping. Today I'm gonna to give you some tips to improve your riding and hopefully take your skills to the next level. And here he is, Deflanowski. My name is Jeff Lanoski, and I've been riding professionally for over 25 years. I started out as a bike trial specialist trying to ride my bike over everything in my path. And I mean everything. Nowadays, I enjoy tackling the most technical mountain bike trails I could find. And if those aren't difficult enough, I'll make up my own. I love sharing my knowledge with fellow riders to help them improve their skills. Ride with me and I'll show you how to be a trail boss. Jumping your bike is a skill a lot of people learn when they're kids. So if you fall into that category, you might have a level of proficiency. But if you're learning as an adult, it could be a lot more challenging. Regardless, we could always get better through practice. And while jumping has some utilitary purposes on the trail, it's also an awesome way to show off for your friends. Before we get into some of the most common mistakes I see riders making, let's do a quick overview of jumps. I did a whole series on how to jump on my YouTube channel about a year ago. So for all the fine details, check out that series. I'll put a link in the description below. But for the purpose of this video, let's do a quick overview. Hitting jumps properly is all about managing energy. You're rolling down the trail, usually in a horizontal plane, and you have an obstacle that wants to send you vertical. How you deal with those forces will make all the difference. Rolling towards the jump, you'll want to be centered over your bike. As you approach the takeoff, you want to preload your bike and time it so that as you leave the lip, your arms and legs are nearly at full extension. Remember when you were a kid on a swing set and you would pump hard at the bottom and time your extension for the top of the arc? It's a similar feeling. Jumps come in all different shapes and sizes, so to become truly proficient, you're going to need a lot of practice on a lot of different styles of jumps. Let's jump into some of the most common mistakes I see riders make when they're learning to jump. The first mistake I see riders making is an improper setup. A lot of what happens in the air is dictated long before you ever leave the takeoff. To correct this, try to get up to speed earlier so that you can approach the takeoff with your pedals level in your ready position and your arms and knees slightly bent. The second mistake is usually all about progression, and that is when riders hit jumps too stiff. So try to find a jump that you're comfortable with and get it in as many reps as possible so that you can stay nice and loose in the air. The next mistake I see riders make when they hit jumps is not having their weight centered over the bike. And that could mean your weight too far back or too far forward. When you hit a jump with your weight too far back, it has a tendency to want to toss you over the handlebars and that could be totally unsafe. When you hit a jump with your weight too far forward, it absorbs a lot of the energy, and in some situations that could be a good thing, but for the sake of this video, we're trying to teach you to maximize whatever energy this lip is providing you. Staying centered over your bike while hitting jumps is all about doing it relative to the riding surface, not the horizon. So when you're riding up a steep lip, you're actually going to be leaning back a little bit. And when you push down through your pedals, it's gonna magnify all the energy that the lip is giving you and maximize your airtime. The last mistake I see riders make is super common and that's lifting your bike in the air off the jump versus letting the jump lift your bike in the air. This is a bad habit for a couple reasons. First of all, you're not getting your money's worth out of the lip of the jump. If you do a slow motion, you could usually see daylight under a rider's tire, so they're not getting the maximum lift from the jump. The second downside is it usually sends you in a pretty unpredictable flight pattern, which could make jumping way more dangerous than it needs to be. In my opinion, lifting your bike in the air when hitting jumps is a habit that's developed from hitting jumps going too fast. So here's a simple drill you can use to break yourself of this bad habit. Find a tabletop and roll into it with just a little bit more speed than you would use to just crest the lip of the jump. As your front wheel leaves the lip of the jump, try to hold it in the air until your rear wheel crests the top as well. This is gonna feel a lot like a manual, so if you're a little unsure, make sure you check out the manual video in my series before giving it a shot. 
Riding this slow, you will be shifting your weight a little bit far back to keep your front end up. So now that you're adding some speed, get your weight centered back over the cranks and get all the air time this lip has to offer. Jumping your mountain bike is a ton of fun and it's really easy to try to fast track your progression. So be patient. Being truly proficient at jumping takes a lot of time and a lot of reps on a lot of different jumps. If you've watched this long, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can catch all my future videos and past ones as well. And check out my private Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a great place to talk about all things bikes with like-minded riders and receive online coaching from myself. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until next time, get out there and be a boss.